wanted to sneak. I wanted to snoop. Scale chateau wall. Dig up diabolical poop. Las Vegas casino. Safe cracking thief. Surfing with terrorists. Down at Bondi Beach. But I'm stuck at some other one. No fancy tanks in my clothes. The least known person. The world's never known. Romeo takes us. small and gray they all want to know your what's your name peter bergman tv star how i wonder who you are such nice clothes where's the tags in the purple shopping bag fashion icon at the beach take out your trash but be discreet grab a snack before you go drop off the mail and hit the road likes his privacy. When he's out, no photos, please. Peter Bergman, TV star, how I wonder who you are.
There once was a town where the people were kind and the sun warmed their faces. A well-traveled road ran through the center of town and the people walked up and down and back and forth on their road, running their errands and doing their duties. One day, a woman from the west side of town was walking on the road to the east and found a wall in her path. She approached the wall and stood under its long shadow. What are you doing, Wall? asked the woman. I'm here to protect you from the danger on the other side, responded the Wall. Oh, I didn't realize I was in danger. Thank you, Wall, said the woman, and she smiled. You're welcome, said the Wall. At that moment, a woman approached from the east and was stopped by the new wall blocking her way. From under the wall's long shadow, the woman said, Wall, what are you doing here? I'm here to keep you safe from something you are afraid of, said the wall. Oh no, said the woman. I did not know I was afraid. The woman smiled up at the wall. Can I tell you something, wall? I love you, said the woman. I love you too, said the wall. And everyone was happy.
Every day at the same time, the two women visited the wall from both sides of the city. I love you, said the women. I love you too, said the wall. The wall made the women happy, and the wall was happy too. One day, when the women walked to the center of town to visit their wall, the wall was gone. Have you seen my wall? asked the woman from the west. I have not, said the woman from the east. Have you seen mine? No, said the woman from the west. As they approached the spot where the wall used to be, the two women embraced and cried on the shoulder of the other. I miss my wall, said the woman from the east. And I miss my wall, said the woman from the west. They wept.
girl loses the plot mid sentence. Abandoned by the narrator. Inoculation! Getting high! Like masturbation! And it's far too kind! And I can't see the sky! And I don't know why! I used to have a sense of action! And I could really do no wrong! I can really do no wrong! But then the question of causation! And I was trapped in sizes!
impressions never last. What did you feel back then? where you point that gun. woman sobbed until the woman from the west had an idea. What if we build a new wall, she said. Oh, I would love that, said the woman from the east. The women parted and ran home. I'm going to paint the wall with beautiful colors because I am so grateful for it, said the woman from the east. And I will plant a beautiful garden for the wall because I am so grateful for it, too said the woman from the west. They soon returned with bricks from the east and mortar from the west. As the two worked, the light from the setting sun made a shadow from the beginnings of their new wall. Thank you, said the woman of the east to the woman of the west. And I thank you, responded the woman of the west. They smiled together and built their wall.